Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Keys from the Golden Vault, the next Dungeons & Dragons canon hardback to drop. It drops digitally on February 7th. That's the earliest you can possibly get it. That's actually two, two, that's a two-week early access that's available to the public. Um, and then it will release on February 21st. Uh, but we actually got an official announcement from, from Wizards of the Coast and from Hasbro, right? And this is a bold, um, and like, so we get this fun, winsome announcement with lots of content and a beautiful description of this D&D canon hardback. But this isn't an advertisement. This is an act of revolution, right? So Hasbro is now a revolutionary hero. Dungeons and Dragons is in a completely new space, right? So uh, in my humble opinion, I'll explain where we're at. So, OSE, Old School Essentials, uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics, um, Pathfinder, right? All retro clone uh, games. And that's what they are. They're games, right? And if you choose to play them, you're taking a Candyland action. No one stands against you. No one's going to try to say you're doing wrong by buying, owning, reading, running, or watching. Can you watch OSE? Can you watch DCC? Can you watch Pathfinder? I don't know. Like, but the rest of those do apply, right? No one's going to stand against you, right? But when Duns and Dragons publishes a new D&D canon hardback, that's an act of revolution. And it revolts against the D&D Begone villains. And that's what we have. We have a group of D&D Begone villains. Who uh, forms that villainous group, right? Um, uh, not some, not all. Uh, OGLers, right? People who, who um, support the, o, the OGL 1.0. Right, uh, some not all of the OSRs, uh, it's members from the OSR community, and some not all of the orcs, the open role playing game creatives. Right, and so so those groups they definitely don't they have people all each one of those groups has people who are not straight out villains. Right, they're just regular people. Right, but many of their members are under this villainous group, the D and D Goners, Right, the, the the people who who used a temporal harm hammer, right, to bring back the fear, to use the fear of the 1983 Satanic Panic, which yelled D&D be gone, to, to get to, in my opinion, very clearly, um, pretty much extort what they wanted out of, um, out of Hasbro, right, and, and if you listen, like, listen to the Dungeon Dudes, and listen to, um, uh, I think Professor Dungeon Master, and listen to, they're all like, we got way more than we asked for, right? And the reason why was Hasbro was so frightened by like, you know, they were like, we'd like to change the OGL. And the D&D Be Goners were like, we'd like to end you, right? We'd like to literally burn everything you are to ash, literally and figuratively, right? The literal part was in 1983. The figurative part is now the burning, the digital burning of digital books. And we see that, like, immediately. We see that, like, right now. Like, right now, right? So, a uh, perfect example of this is, uh, I just watched Nerd Immersion's um, video, and boy, is it awkward, right? He's like, oh, hey, um, you know, a week ago, I told you to, you know, I was allying with D&D Be Goners, and they were saying, burn your, you know, uh, delete your account, cancel your account. Now, today, I'm going to cover Keys from the Golden Vault. And I'm going to point you to content that you would need the account that I just told you to get rid of to actually engage with the content I'm saying today. Like, it's it's not even like two weeks time, but I told you, you know, I I allied with the people who told you to, cr to cancel or delete your account. And now I'm right here pointing you to content that you'll need that account to, to get, right? Oh, and let's talk about trauma. Because, like, I know you had, like, $700 worth of books because you bought the $700 package. And all those are just digitally burned now. And I know it's going to be horribly traumatic for you to return to deal with the content I'm telling you right now. Because the place I'm telling you to go, right, is literally a place where you digitally burned all your digital books, right? And it's literally a digital bonfire. Now just, like, bones and ash, right? And it's going to be hard for you to go back and if you were from 1983, it might, it might literally remind you of the physical burning of your books. But, oh, it's all what, what it, you know, D&D's all fun, right? It, just absolutely absurd, like, 
we've reached a point of absurdity, right? Like, P, you know, like Nerd Immersion's channel is absurdity now, right? Like him literally pointing you to go to D and D Beyond to view content on a site he told you know, he was allying with people who were telling you cancel and burn, uh, cancel and delete your accounts. It's it's absurdism, and it's you know like we're in an upside side down world, right? And and I you know of course I feel it's outrageously galling. Like it's just it's 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 horrible what he's doing. It's horrible, right? That's not just nerd immersion. It's like half the commentators out there, like you know, throwing virtual Molotovs two weeks ago, and now everything's going by ah. And and because and now that they need something because still the orcs produced nothing. Literally nothing you could talk about, right? No cool art, uh, no tie-ins with anything, nothing, right? Now they all slink back, and they're all they all take their seat on the couch, right? So like it's it's horrific. It is absolutely horrific. It is just so galling and absurd and ridiculous, right? And and just watch all these you know people who were shot in D and D be gone two weeks ago are now all coming back, right? And they want they want to come into the party. They want a red cup, right? It is it is hard to even imagine what's happening right now. It is so incredibly absurd and galling and frustrating. All right. With all that said, I'm incredibly so you know, so Hasbro is taking this revolutionary acting action and they're saying, We can exist. And you D and Begoner D you D and D begoners can go kick rocks. Right, and we this ain't our first party with a bunch of people saying we have a moral standard against the company making D and D, and you guys can't, and no one can buy, own, read, run, watch, right? Zealot nineteen eighty three, Zealot twenty twenty three. The only difference is this time, right? The evangelicals didn't have the audacity to say we burned your book two weeks ago in a bonfire at our evangelical church. Can we join the game? That's why I'm telling you, and I've been telling you, the 2023 Manic Panic is 10 times worse than the 1983 Satanic Panic ever was, right? Because it's dramatic to have the people who were crying, we want D&D to not exist two weeks ago. It's so like, now you want a seat at the table and you want to do coverage? It's just, it, it's, it's mind breaking, right? It's, it's just upsetting. It's upsetting and galling and absurdist, right? Like, it's just, it is just a horrific space to be in if you are actually a D&D advocate, right? Like, it's just galling. And it's so much worse than 1983 Santa Panic because we are the sheep, right? Like, we're just like, you know, we would like to exist, and the wolf is right there. Like fangs are out. And if and and the wolf is like, hey, you guys eat grass, right? Can I eat some grass and just stand next to you? And you're like, oh my God, why are you here? Why are you here? Nerd immersion. Why are you covering Dungeons and Dragons? Right? Just run off to your other little games, right? And just do games. Don't try stop trying. It, it, honestly, nerd immersion. I don't understand why you're insisting on being part of the role-playing game experience. That happens on Dungeons and Dragons. Just run off and play the C, you know, the Call of Cthulhu game, right? And I know why you're here, because that Call of Cthulhu video is going to get a tenth of what you get on the keys from Golden Mall, right? So you're not here because you love D and D. You're not here because you want to preserve it. You're not here because you give a care for it, right? You're here for the clicks, right? And it and it's galling. It is absolutely galling to watch Nerd Immersion to pretend to even have to even be neutral on D and D. Right when he was allying with those people crying D and D be gone two weeks ago, two weeks ago, and it's revisionism at its worst. Uh, it, it is. I'm I'm very upset about all about all this. I I really am. I like, and it's not just nerd immersion. It's literally a hundred channels like him. Right, and and the reason why I'm using him to talk about it is he is clearest. Right, it's just so clear. Right, and people still care about his 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 channel because he's got a hundred k sub button, which D and D handed to him. Right, and it's the timing of that. Right, and. And he's trying, and he's trying to continue to be in the D and D space, right? Whereas a lot of others, I don't even, you know, you look at it and you're like, are you guys trying? Like Ginny D, her last video, you know, was like, uh, it said GM in the title, 
right? And is start and given very clear indication that she's going to walk away from Dungeons and Dragons, right? And Professor Dungeon Master called himself DM, P, Professor DM for one single minute. And I think he, you know, and the Dungeon Juice just did this video and they're like, we're going to stay with D&D. And everybody's picking their sides, right? And Nerd Immersion is like, is the most, is the worst example of, you know, allying with D&D Be Goners two weeks ago and now literally trying to, to cover keys from the Golden Vault. And it, it's, uh, we live in incredibly strange times, incredibly strange times. And I just want to say, like, I really, I want to point to this. This is traumatic, in my opinion, because for people who love Dungeons and Dragons, because they don't know who they can trust, right? I'll tell you right now, I don't trust, I do not trust Nerd Immersion. I do not think he cares one bit for D&D &D Be Gone, for D&D &D at all. I think he, where is his, where is his, where is his loyalty? Is it for D&D &D or D&D &D Be Gone? And I'll tell you right now, right? I saw his cute little uh, keys from the Golden Vault video this morning. He's a D&D &D Be Goner guy, in my humble opinion, right? Not D&D. &D. And that's what we need to decide now, right? Because the sheep, 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 wolf, wolf, sheep, wolf, wolf, sheep, wolf, right? And now this is where, we're, you know, and this is my point. D playing D&D, &D, you know, D&D &D is not, we're not playing a game anymore. When you choose to, if, okay, you're going to make a choice, okay? You're going to choose to not buy keys from the golden vault or buy it right and two weeks ago and actually on dragon lance shout of the dragon queen that was a fun little choice right like oh you know whatever you want to do now it's for all the marbles right like there are groups coming at distinct temporal intervals to destroy Dungeons and dragons forever 1983 2023 is the next one going to be in 2033 Right? Is the next one going to be six months from now? Right? And when you buy keys from the Golden Vault, you are making a revolutionary action. You're saying, I revolt against the D&D &D Be Gone villains. And I will never let D&D &D die. Every word of that is my humble opinion. The important part is when you get in the comments and send your humble opinion. Send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful morning.